Wednesday Friends Day. I'm super excited you're here. I'm like trying to look like I could see you better if I, <laughs> if I bend in. Oh, I'm working on a coneflower painting. This is a 12 inch by 12 inch. I took photos of coneflowers on my walk the other day. Is that a good spot, Em? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I have a reference photo. There's also one back there. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. Oh, shoot. I did. shoot. I did that last time, too. I've got to remember to turn the volume down on my iPad. Um, we're still learning. I have a traceable on my website. So that is 8 by 8 inch, and I just enlarged it a little bit. And here's the traceable enlarged. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can still hear me. I didn't yeah. turn it down enough. I don't think they can hear you, though. It was quiet enough. And then when Emily zooms in here in a second, you'll be able to see I've already just, I just freehand drew the flowers on there. But if you don't want to do that, there's a traceable. Okay, Em, I think I'm ready to start okay. painting. Yeah, we'll scooch you in. I'm going to scooch Did all in. my show and tell. I'm scooch in first, and then I'll lower it. Oh, geez. What? I'm looking at, well, so I'm watching the live through your phone, and I... I see there's a goat emoji with something attached oh, to okay, it. Oh, okay, I'm going to look at the iPad while yeah, you're adjusting. Yeah, the iPad while I adjust. Oh, is that Chase? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say his whole name. <laughs> no. <laughs> Chase, man. Well, it has his last name there. Oh, true. It does. It does. It does. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are spoiling me. You have to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes hearing his laugh. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, so how is this? I think that's... Here, let me just... I'm going to bend the arm a little bit. Oh, really? But yeah. Um, oh, well, that angle looks really different on your Oh, it does look different on, on your iPad. phone than it does on, my, on this phone. Should I turn it? No, I think we need to go higher, and I'll just angle it down. That did work. And then I'll angle it down a little bit. All right, actually, sorry, so I'm going to straighten it out, because mm -hmm. I don't know if I can paint with it leaning to the left. I can. Yeah. You know what? Maybe you need to be more behind me. Behind you? You know, straight on. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey friends <laughs> uh, I suppose if we wouldn't try something new every time I know if we don't do a new angle every time we can just leave things as they are yeah. do you like that or is that still too what's weird is it looks a lot more zoomed in on your phone than it does on there yeah that is interesting I can raise it a little bit and get a little closer well it's just interesting get... we have the snowman is so much to the left I know Here. I wonder if it needs to be more closer to me how about that? Do you like that or a little more? Hey, everybody in the chat, what do you think? Oh, Art of Dan oil painting is here. Hey, Dan. I think I saw Bonita, too. Oh, Bonita. Hey, Bonita. Like so that? are we going to leave that? I actually would like to straighten it out, or do you think they don't mind? Oh, you see my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I don't mind it, but where do you want it more straight? Here, don't move so fast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's not so much to the Suzanne left. Suzanne says it looks good. Well, can we get it here? Maybe I'll just do this. There. How about that? Should I mean, I... really, it's either just getting closer yes. or... Yes, okay. that's great. Perfect. That's great. Yay, yay. Now they can see me moving it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, thanks for your patience. Really appreciate <laughs> it. So I'm going to show you, I used um, light blue violet for the sky, and then I mixed it with a little bit of gray and more white as I came down. It's a really small sky, and I just used this Filbert. This is a Michaels brand, I'm pretty sure, Artist Loft. I don't know what the number is. Oh, it's a number six. So I, we'll see if we like that. I thought it'd be kind of fun to see if we can get it to work. And then for the background, it's very similar to how I did this painting that went up recently. Um, you know, I just have a lot of tall sort of blue-gray lines in the background, and I painted the painting on top of it. And it's sort of similar to the Queen Anne's lace, which I gave away, so I don't have that painting to show you. But it's not too different than this one, although this one doesn't have the ground in the background. Like, this one has... Um, grass is off in the distance. The Queen Anne lace is actually more similar than this one. Oh, this has a traceable. The previous painting I just showed you doesn't. And then of course the one we're working on today has a traceable. 
And then I used a number, it's a one inch, I've been saying this wrong, it's low Cornell brush to just get in some of these colors. Here, I'll show you the palette. And then I videoed this. So once I get this painting done, we'll put the, the whole entire painting up as a video. But look at this palette. That's <laughs> some pretty, pretty yummy colors. So that is, I'm into this, um, oh no, I didn't use it. I used this one. I used Thalo Green. That's quite blue-green. That's this one right here. And then I put some Hooker's Green out. That's that. Cad Yellow. There's a little lime green. I'm going to come back and put some more in. This is the lime green, and then these are some of these are lime green. And then Mars Black and Titanium White and Neutral Gray 5. All right, I'm going to put this away quick. So I put them, I don't know if you can see this because the camera's so close, but that's a gallon Ziploc bag. I missed it. I put a, another plate on top. And because my studio is small, that way I can just, you know, set this on the, gr the ground, which I don't recommend. I might step on it. But I can set it on a shelf someplace. And then, you know, I can move around my studio and paint at my larger easel with a palette. It's much more mobile. Okay, and then I started to say I painted the grasses. So instead of, so I painted the background this way with this brush, and then I painted the grasses vertically. And then it, it wasn't all like areas will dry, but I'll just work little areas wet on wet. And then if it starts to pick up, I let it dry and I come back and work it again. Okay, is there anything else we need to know about the setup? No, I think you did great. Okay, <laughs> whoops, I just, the only thing bad about those plates is they shift and I just got pink all over everything. So here's the palette I'm thinking of working with today. Because I'm going to work on the flowers and the flower centers. Uh, can they see um, what I drew on there or not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I so, mean, it's obviously it's fainter, but I can, I'm watching on your computer and my computer, it looks great. You can kind of see it? Mm hmm Okay. So what I do sometimes, too, is I'll lighten it up with a kneaded eraser. And it works much better if the, the background's dried at least a day or two days. Um, acrylic paintings can take up to a week to cure, um, but definitely... If it's the same day, you can kind of get them wet and lift up the paint sometimes. There is the only reason I'm a little wishy on it because it just depends on the climate in your area. Uh, the palette I'm going to use is Mars Black Quinacridone Magenta. That's always a fun one to say. <laughs> um, and then I mix with some Cad Yellow. It makes a really pretty red. And then I mix it with the Quinacridone and the Cad Yellow. And then I mix a lighter orange. And then from, I took the orange and made a warmer brown. with So that has more orange and yellow in it. And then this cooler brown has more of the red in it. And then just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of the black. The black and the quinacridone are really strong colors. And then I have titanium white. Okay. So I'm going to start on the centers so I can stick petals into the centers. And that's pretty much all I have to say as far as getting you guys up to speed. I hope you're having a good week. <laughs> I like, I expect you guys to yeah. answer. <laughs> <laughs> An immediate answer. Oh, and I suppose, I don't know if he's going to be there, but he has been for the other lives. Hey, Dad, how are you doing? <laughs> now I can hear him. Yeah. Hey, Ann. <laughs> so all I'm doing is just taking the kneaded eraser and lightening up my centers. Um, it's just a thing I do because occasionally it'll muddy the paint a little bit. It'll dissolve into the paint usually. Um, it's just something I like to do. It makes me happier. I think a kneaded eraser is like a dollar or two. Oh, and then I've got, so I didn't know what brushes I wanted to use. So this is a Filbert number 12 Royal Lang Nickel Menta. I really like these brushes. And then I showed you the artist loft I used for the sky. That's pretty close in size. I don't know which one I'm going to use. And then I've got a smaller one for petals. This one's, oh, it's a number four. I got it off of Amazon. It's really inexpensive. It says Zoo Zing. Um, you can, I don't know if you can see it splitting. And I don't really even leave it in the water, but still it's... Wood brushes will split.
Alrighty, so I think with the centers, I'm not sure, I might even grab another brush. Oh, and I've got a flat brush here, which I don't know if I'll use. It's a Simply Simmons flat shader. It's definitely bowed and, and warped, and I've got a number one Simply Simmons round. Maybe if we start with this one, I'll start with a small brush. The other thing you can come back and do is after you're done painting, is take some water and wash off what you've drawn on there. Here, all right, I finally decided, guys. Little number four filbert. So these centers are kind of orangish brown. I might grab a little white, a little white, a little orange, and just get some paint on here. I've got a light flickering. I don't know if that's showing up. Where? Uh, I think it's the three-way that's over by oh. my chalk wall. Uh, I didn't notice it. So I think you're good. It just did it again. Oh yeah, I, I, I see it a little bit. <laughs> do you want me to do something about it? No. Okay. We have ghosts. <laughs> it is September, so spooky season has begun. I need to wear your, Emily made me some skull earrings. I have my palette on, palette earrings on. I, wore, I think I've worn them for every live. So all I'm doing, oh, you know what? We need to decide what direction our light's going to come from. You know, uh, when I don't know, I have it come, I don't want to draw on my canvas. I have it, the sun over here, so shining this way. Um, so if I put different paintings together or images together when I uh, send stuff to my agent, I usually get lucky in the, the light's coming from the same direction. Oops, I got some water on there. I can't believe another week's already gone by. I know it goes by faster and faster, I feel like. Yeah. Well, wait till you get to my age. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to put some color and some centers in, and then we'll work our way around. Do this one. So that might need a little white to cover. You can always come back and make it darker. And they don't have to be perfect. This is a little interesting. Let me know if I get in the way if you notice him. Okay. I'm leaning in a little more and a little more. <laughs> I know some YouTubers only do one angle because they get it all set up, which makes total sense. Um, but I'm not always working in one spot. You can tell I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Oh, can they see the um, tulips right behind? Oh, they can a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I used to teach in-person beginning watercolor classes, which was fun. I have a booklet with photo steps. It's on my website. Um, you can download it for free. I appreciate it when people send support. That just means so much to us. It helps us. We've purchased a video arm and a microphone already with people supporting us. So that's really exciting. Um, anyway, back to the watercolor classes. If you wanted to try a different medium, you could, you could paint those tulips in acrylic too, or you could try it in watercolor. Um, I just did the in-person watercolor because it's so much less messy than acrylic and people and students and, you know, I had a plastic tablecloth on the table in my dining room. I didn't trust people with acrylic paints in my house. <laughs> if you can see my, you can't see my studio, but I have vinyl tablecloths on the carpet in case I drop a brush. But some of you guys might like that. There's some, um, you know, if you're a beginner, there, there's trait. I think I already said there's traceables with the watercolor booklet um there hi freckles i don't know if they can hear you but hello <laughs> freckles freckles is president and ceo of of my youtube channel you might like some of those uh classes in there hi freckle so i, I don't know if you can see that i don't know if my palette was in the way here let me 
I'm gonna, there's a delay. Oh, that kind of works. Hold it up and just as long as I'm not holding it over where I'm painting. So these centers are kind of orange and brown, but I'm just getting some color down. I like this little filbert. <laughs> Hi, friend. Who are you at? You know, I think it's about, I don't know how long. It's my During the pandemic, my husband set up an office where my old studio was and would shut the door, and the cat was unhappy all day long. And then she finally got used to it. And I don't know if this is actually true timing, but he, she finally got used to it, and of course he went back to the office. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it wasn't that way, but it sure felt like that, you know. Freckle does not like change. She well, likes consistency and a routine. Me. She's kind of an old gal. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Anne, would you go into the bathroom and get me a Kleenex? Yes. When I look I down during allergy season. Come on. You gotta hop down if I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna you. have to pay you extra for that. That's not in the job description. Yes. <laughs> Or actually, um, oh, there's any Kleenex toilet paper work. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that looks kind of good. Oh, that one could have a little center. We could put a little... I don't know if you can see it, but... <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Put a little center in that one. Oh, we should put a little center in this one, too. Oh, you know what would be better? So, you notice I backed off my brush handle there? I got a whole box. <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Don't worry, guys. I won't blow my nose on camera. <laughs> right into my mic. That would be terrible. Um, I would assume that would be terrible. Oh, so I backed off a little bit because I didn't need to be that close. It's just kind of a habit, like when you hold a pencil, you get you get real close. And it's not wrong to hold it close like that. Um, but you can also get looser. I'm going to grab some paint here. You can get looser. Oops, I'm going to back off a little bit on the brush strokes. Okay. So if you're going for more impressionistic, so this is a short-handled brush, or this is a long handle. So if you really want to get back, I haven't purchased that many long handles. Um, that's also on my, I have a wish list. If I do a fair number of small paintings, they'll, they, they seem, I don't know if it's just for me or just because of the price or what, but they tend to sell a little bit better for me. I'm assuming it's the prize. All right, Emily, anything going on in chat? Um, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of. I, I guess I could fill you in on one. So let's see. Here. Oh, you don't have to fill me in. It's okay. Oh, okay. Well, I, I mean, I, you can. It's whatever you think is best. Just um, Dan from Art of Dan was asking what you use if you were just going live on your phone. And so I was oh, saying, yeah. yeah and. He was saying that he uses a camera, but it's still kind of blurry. Oh, really? What Did he say what kind of camera? He did not. He says a simple camera, is, and, and it's kind of blurry. I was wondering about GoPros. If they're not even really a, so much a thing anymore as they used to be. I yeah. Know. I think we would just go straight to, like, the, the big boy camera if we... Because, I, I mean, they keep the quality on the back of an iPhone pretty nice. It's basically what I said is that, you know, when it came to, like... Do we do a real camera or do we, yeah. what do we do? Then at least, you know, the, the back of an iPhone camera is pretty nice. And you, then you can just go live from the app and you don't have to It is that use is. a whole, like, studio system setup type deal. Well, and if, if Dan wants to learn from us, watch the first live where <laughs> I didn't realize that it would flip it up. Well, I cut it. that part out. So that, oh, that's right. it can no longer be viewed. That was only viewed by that's the right. few that. <laughs> so I set it up looking at my my phone and didn't realize I needed to flip it before I go live to rear facing if I want to use the rear facing camera and then I was having a heart attack on uh, live I had a heart attack live <laughs> <laughs> which you know 
I was thinking this morning, it's like, it's, this has been so good for me. It's good to learn new things. It's good to try new things. You know. Dan says it's a webcam around sixty dollars that he uses. Oh, maybe kind of like what what Gramps uh, sent to us. Not literally, but kind mm-hmm. of. You know, you can tell when I stop, I get futzy. I'm just adding some light highlights in here. Well, that's good to know. And he is still kind of blurry. It must be. I, believe I wonder so. if it's the function of the live. Am I, are my videos blurry? I haven't really paid attention. I mean, I can tell when you flip between, if I edit your videos, between your front cam and your back cam. So I know the back cam is definitely... I mean, you, that's just in the staff of the phone, too, is that the back cam is a lot higher quality. So that's when I do the little ones, so I say hello, and then I flip it onto yeah. my mm-hmm. art table. Or oh. like your chalk videos, when they're in the on the wall, your chalk wall videos. Oh, yeah. Those tend to be, um, I, can, I, I just can tell, like, if I watch it, yeah, like those when tend I watch to be videos on my TV, I can tell. <laughs> I can just tell. Yeah, I would think the chalk walls are blurrier because I have it so I can see if mm-hmm. it's in frame. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the whole thing's blurry, or blurrier. Yeah, it's just a lesser quality. It's not like it's unwatchable or anything. It's just I can tell that versus the back cam from the front cam. There's so much to learn, which isn't a bad thing. You just, you learn as you go. I don't care what it is, you know. I was talking to a friend about licensing art and how do you get started. And I'm like, you kind of just, like we've been doing with the lives. (laughs) You know, set up some images and if you want to, you know, if you're interested in Having your art on puzzles, research puzzle manufacturers, and you know, I even sent her some puzzle manufacturers that I thought would be good. And I'm like, just send it. Everybody has a different opinion too. Every artist will tell you something different. So I'm just kind of mixing. I think you guys can see that, and then I need to drop it down to make sure you can see what I'm painting. I checked out Dan's channel. He's got some really awesome art. It's so fun. I think, he'll have to correct me, but I think he's self-taught, which that doesn't matter either. In my art licensing community, they'll say, oh, I'm self-taught. And I'm like, oh, there's some really awesome artists that are self-taught that are making way more money than I am. It has really nothing to do with it. I'd say you are, too, for the most part. Well, you did go to school, you know, but like you were doing it far before you were probably. Well, so Gramps kind of asked me that question like the last time I was down there. Maybe, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so I had an awesome middle school, junior high, depending on oh, what yeah. you want to call it. Mm-hmm. He was so good. I learned all the basics and all the mechanics from him. And then when I went to high school, he ended up getting a job at the high school. So, and then when I went to college, I learned a few things, but really not much. Because they were kind of like, yeah, I'm teaching or I'm the TA. I'm just going to show up you guys work. You know? mm-hmm. I'm like, well, if you're new to art, you don't know what to do. You don't know, you know, I mean, light direction. And, you know, this one's kind of standing up. So it's a little bit more square in the sides. And this one's laying down. So it's a little more oval. I mean, there's just a lot of little things. And I'm having trouble painting that. <laughs> <laughs> I think because I want to lean in more. So I don't know. So yeah, I was self-taught, but I had a, an excellent start. I was really lucky. Because I was the kid that wanted to take every... Well, and then my middle school, I, it feels like I had so many more electives that I could take than like you and your brother did. Mm-hmm. For, did you say for middle school? Yeah, for middle school. Just a, yeah. t- a ton. I could take... I took every art class they offered. Yeah, I guess it wasn't... Ours is pretty laid out. Like, you, you you, have to take, like, one of everything is what I remember. And then there were a few that you could pick maybe by, like, your last year of middle school. And so I would take – I think that's when I took, like, a printmaking in fibers class and that's oh. or something like that. And that's yeah. where I did the, um, you know, the speed ball with thing with the linoleum. Linoleum cuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I think we, like, wove – stuff out of old like you would fold the magazine paper in a certain way and then we all wear baskets do you remember that I remember hunting and buying magazines for you (laughs) because I didn't want to use like you know because they all they have is like the times or like you know something very wordy and I wanted color and whatever so I I remember remember us buying 
You know, I always can't remember until you jog. I remember like, oh, <laughs> yeah. The things I did for you. Yeah, but I remember, <laughs> yeah. I feel, I feel sorry for you, Em, because I'm going to... I rat on you every live. <laughs> or I throw you under the bus, just but that's jokingly. The only, I think that's the only class I remember taking in middle school that was, like, my choice for an art class. I don't I, I know there was, like, one every year, but I, it's like everybody had to take it. So I don't know. I don't know either. So I'm kind of fussing with this. Oh, it's too wet, so it's lifting up. But one thing you could do is you could have, well, since the light's coming from here, you could have it peak about where my brush ends and then have it come down a little bit and then go into the hole, but it's just too wet. I'm going to let it dry. If I put a little brown there, it might. Mm. I don't know who it was. Oh, last time Jean showed up and I know I didn't know that I knew that Jean. Is she here today? She hasn't said anything if she is. Oh, that's okay. I uh, posted a comment later. I don't. I couldn't tag her. It wouldn't let me tag her. I was trying to say, hey. <laughs> so I think that's all my, there's a bee right there. So I have five flowers. I'm going to have like a purple thing here. Um, there's a stem and some leaves here. So let's go back. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, was it Bonita that was asking about, you know, easier classes last time? Last time? I... Oh, oh it doesn't matter. Whoever it was, so. I've got a pair that you should watch. It's under the art tip playlist. Um, I have a pair video. And I painted it pretty much with this brush. I think it was about that big. So that's a, that's a great place to start, is just, you know, paint, paint some fruit. Paint one. If you want to improve quicker, uh, practice drawing. But you can get there either way. I mean, if you only want to paint, um, don't worry about it. You can get there. I can need a little bit smaller brush. So a smaller brush, I paint slower, and it gets tighter. I think I've mentioned that before. Bigger brush. I don't know. What do we want to do here? I want some orange. Let's get some orange in here because these are pretty orange on the top, if my photo is accurate. And then they get kind of brown and even, I think we'll put some magenta in them. And then what I might do too is sneak a little orange. Oh, I know I will. I'll sneak a little orange or pink back in here just to kind of help unify the painting and also Hinted other flowers. Let's grab some magenta. Oh yeah, that's kind of yummy. I think that's winter winter. What is winter winter chicken dinner from? I don't know. I don't either. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Googling it. I'll Google it. There's a gal, I play Bunko, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's a really simple dice game. And we just eat food and hang out and win prizes, you know. One gal, she doesn't belong anywhere, but she'd always say, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's see here. The most popular origin story of the term is that a chicken dinner at Las Vegas Casino <laughs> used to cost $2, the same amount as a standard bet. So if you won, you won a chicken dinner, basically. So you would basically, I guess, get your money back and then some, and then the then some money would buy you the chicken dinner, I guess. That's fun. Okay, I'm glad you Googled. <laughs> Let's see, I grabbed some magenta, but I don't think I want it. I'm going to grab some orange. That made a really pretty orange. Magenta and cad yellow. So mostly that first layer on these centers was just to get some paint down to cover my background. You could let the background show through. Um, I tend to like paintings that recede and are grayer and more muted, and then I put a pop of something on top, um, like this. But here, I only had a few of them really popping, and then kind of a little splash of light there. Oh, I have some magenta on my finger. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I don't have a mute button. Where'd I put my brush? I just said... I thought you said down. Do you want me to, I can rewind oh, and figure it out. <laughs> no, here. I got it. It rolled underneath my uh, paper towel. <laughs> like, what? So I was going to come up with some conversation starters. <clears throat> Sorry. And I couldn't think of anything. 
I assume everybody's like introduced themselves and where are you from? And... Let's see here. Oh yes, Bonita replied. She says, yes, I am a newbie. I painted your bees with flowers this past week. You can tell, um, <clears throat> you can tell they are bees and a few flower buds. I think I am painting about one inch per hour. I am so excited. You're about an inch per hour, aren't you? Well, right now I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's no race to the end, you know. The only time anybody notices how fast or slow you paint is if you go live, which I don't really recommend. <laughs> but yeah, there's no, no race. Someone, um, I won't say who, I think I, I remember which person it was that I've connected with through YouTube, was glad when I said, oh, this one took me five hours. Because she was feeling, because those videos are um, misleading. It looks like I get them done so fast. You know, if you think, mm -hmm. oh, she probably took, you know, X amount of time to. But there's all the, like, if you don't, like, it would be wise, okay, if I took the magenta and I put it on every one of these instead of wiping my brush off and switching. So maybe I'll do that. Because um, she's like, I paint really slow. And she paints almost ultra realistically. It's beautiful. You know, so of course it's going to take longer. I think my favorite thing is um, it's hard if you do the above your art table shot, but um, if it's at your easel, you can kind of tell how long the painting took based on how many outfits you see in the video. Yeah, yeah. That Even if it's you... time lapsed or whatever, the outfit changes. Because, I mean, you probably sit down to paint for at least, like, you think like 30, 30 to an hour? Well, this morning I was right nervous. So that landscape that's nobody can see, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an 18 by 24. Yeah. I painted for about 20 minutes. Yeah. So Just it's not because it not, calmed me down. <laughs> yeah. I it will. And I feel like when you sit down to paint, you're probably, unless I book you, you're probably sitting down to paint for yeah, usually, a while. So, usually it's a couple hours. Yeah. So you can assume by how many outfit changes <laughs> yeah. there are in the videos. Well, and then I cut out because, you know, it'll, True. you True. can't. I'll cut out chunks too. Yeah, because it just in time lapse it looks like nothing's happening when you're painting. Yeah. If you're not doing like all the big brush strokes and things like that. Yeah, I didn't used to, but I'm like, okay, that doesn't look any different. And then it's only 18 minutes for you to upload instead of an mm -hmm. hour. You know. I think it's working decently where I am. Um, you know, usually I talk. Sometimes I'll time lapse and pop in and talk. Time lapse, pop in and talk. So I'm not doing what I said I was going to do. I keep switching colors. <laughs> so you can tell I'm probably going to have at least three or four coats on these. That's just my personal preference. You know, if you wanted the edges to blend in a bit, you could like leave one coat close to the edge and then come in. If you don't want such a hard edge. Um, you could, I don't want to do it, but you could smear it while it's wet. Oh, I forgot this one over here. You know, if we get a camera, we need to get lights. Mm hmm you know what I did the other day, M? So I have the, like, I don't know, it's just the lights. The bendy lights. <clears throat> Excuse me, yeah, bendy lights. I threw one of my aprons over it so it diffused it so I didn't have glare so bad on my glasses. I'm like, yeah. You know, I could have thought of that one a little sooner. Yeah. <laughs> and if, it, if um, <clears throat> your apron's too thick and it's diffusing it too much, I wonder if you could just cut up, like, a white pillowcase. So it's a little thinner, but it's not so... Yeah. Aggressive. <laughs> well, it, it worked really well, especially this Good. apron. It's thinner. And then mm -hmm. I'm just like, why did that not occur to me? Because <laughs> you don't know what you don't know what you don't know until you don't know it. I don't know if I said that right. I don't know. Uh, I don't know that one. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't like how dark that is right there. I'm just throwing in a little. So I will do things as they occur to me, even though it's not efficient. Because otherwise I forget. Okay. 
I like that little pop of white. Usually I don't put white in there so fast. Mm -hmm. But I am. Um, I keep forgetting to tip my palette up. Should put one. Man, that's kind of fun. Wee. Wee. <laughs> you know, I could come back with a little yellow over that too. Because it's a pop of white, but if you don't want it white. I'll make the yellow. Well, that's kind of fun. Until I'm relaxing. All right, Miss M. What should we talk about? Um, I am putting you on the spot. I'm going to take a drink. Uh, <clears throat> what should we talk about? I guess it's September, so that means it's fall now. So, yeah. even though it's still, <laughs> I think it's still supposed to be hot here. I'll check. I think it's supposed to be hot. For a while. Well, it'll probably go up and down. Yeah. We're getting those storms. Gosh darn my voice today. We're yeah, getting... we are. Oh, those, the storm, I slept through most of it. Oh, well, good. <clears throat> but it was bad. I was like, those, those were loud. They were scaring the cats, is what Chase said. Well, and they're the storms that, you know, you can tell it's turning into fall. Mm -hmm. It's changing the air and the weather and... And then it'll get hot and humid again. It'll try us one more time. Yeah. That always used to mark, like, the beginning of the school year for me. Because we'd always, like... Yeah. I remember it would be, like, the second week of school, and I would be doing homework in the basement while the tornado <laughs> sirens are going off. It's only so funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it's it's supposed to be, like, 70s, and then it's not supposed to get too hot. I like when... I love when I see the low is, like, 60-something. High 50s. Oh, I know. Pretty soon we can open up the windows up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the air went off. I wonder if they could hear the air. I don't know. Thank you for the Kleenexes. That was awesome. Yeah. How many do we have right now? We have seven people watching. Yay! Thank you, seven mm -hmm. people. Seven of my best friends. <laughs> my new best art friends. Any medium, welcome. Now that's what I would love to see. Someone to do your traceable in... Watercolor. Yeah, in a watercolor or oil or even just if they like a pastel. Chalk or pastel. Mm -hmm. I've been getting into that since I've been doing uh, my driveway. And first I started out with kids chalk, which I still use. Or that. like oil, because I've never... Oils. Oil. I never, I never understood that one. Yeah, I don't know that much about it. We kind of talked about that last time. Mm -hmm. I guess it's the oils that really get me, apparently. It's the oil paint and oil pastel. and. Well, I'm painting that one. Um, you know, well, I keep referring to it, which is probably really annoying if you're watching live. <laughs> I painted that one like an oil painting. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I yeah, did, and, and I just sketched on it. Mm -hmm. It's just that things dry quick, so you can't, if you want a blurry edge... You gotta work fast. Or lost edges, you have to come back maybe with some matte medium, which we don't have up here. Oh. Mm -hmm. And glaze a color or smear mm -hmm. it while it's wet. Here, I might smear a petal. So I'm not gonna get these uh, centers completely done before I start the petals. Because it's good to work the whole painting, which can be a little challenging when it does dry that fast, you know? A little highlight there. If it's too light, it's going to dry darker, but if it's too light, um, you can put another color right over it. Okay, let's work on the petals a little bit. Let's see if I can smear one. How am I doing for time? It is oh, 12 38. Jeez Louise. And Emily always says, We can go longer. I'm worried about two things, my phone battery <laughs> and uploading, because it just seems like it churns and it churns. It's already uploaded. Like, you can turn around and watch it immediately. It's just we can't edit it, you know? Yeah, well, it bugs me. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what brush. Well, I guess maybe I'll go back. It's a little small, but since I'm going to do that one up there, because I'm trying to work this way, just in case I my hand drops onto the canvas. You know, this little tabletop easel, which is pretty much just for display, isn't working too bad. Yeah. 
I anchored it with a couple of tubs of things. Oh, I see them. I was like, I, I'm surprised it's that stable. Uh, for... Heavy glass gel? Yes, I do. I see. <laughs> well, when I painted the background, I was, you know, going like this, and then it went, woo! <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that actually would have been pretty entertaining on camera, you know? <laughs> it really isn't set up for, you know, art, artistic energy. Is that a good way to put that? But I was surprised that you were you were able to, like, just what you're doing now, erase on it, and it was it was pretty stable for. Well, I don't know if you can see my left hand. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know you're <laughs> holding it, but I I thought it would be way more wobbly the second you started. Doing yeah, that. no, you learn, you learn, you learn, and I've also got it wedged up against a piece of foam core back there too, so the back leg. Okay. So I'm liking how those are popping off of that cool background. I mean, talk about contrast. We got contrast and value contrast um, from warm to cool. Um, we got darker, much darker. I like, I like making things pop. Okay, so, hmm, um, Miss Emily, yeah. there is matte medium on my second shelf down next to my big easel. Mm -hmm. It's on the second shelf right in the right corner. Because I don't know how transparent the Quinette, thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is matte medium, it's clear. It's, it's a little milky looking, but it dries clear. And then don't like shake it up and get bubbles in it, but you kind of want to. And with the varnishes, if you use the varnishes, I use the um, permanent varnishes from Liquitex. So you kind of stir them up a little bit. Ooh, that was loud. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my palette. Because I don't know how transparent. So I grab a little matte medium. Grab a little quinacridone. I'm probably not going to need to do this. <laughs> I want to turn it. <laughs> Let's see. Can they see down here? I know I have to wait a second. Yeah, you can see the one. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> you can see the whole canvas. Okay, cool. Whichever way you have it. Oh, so I'm glad I did. Because it's a square canvas, right? Yeah, it's a 12 by 12. Yeah. So I'm glad I did the Quina the matte medium because it's not as transparent as I thought it might be. So it's a matte medium. I think it says you shouldn't go over half and half, but I do. Um, if someone knows, I would love to know. Because so I have quite a bit of paint on, under, on, on here already. And now I'm putting thin layers on, but it's on top of a lot of paint and acrylic paint might st stick to itself. So I'm assuming, and, and this is matte medium, it's, I think what it is is just, um, oh, I don't know, binder and acrylic binder and stuff with no pigment. That's what they make the paint out of, I assume. Oh yeah, I like that. So I'm getting some background showing through, which is nice. And I can always come back with more color. And I don't know if I finished that. Oh, so I'm assuming it'll glue itself together. And then I, when this is done, I'll put a gel gloss isolation layer on it because I think it makes it look a little more rich. Plus it protects it if they try to take off the permanent varnish. And then I put the varnish on. So I've got, you know, like a sandwich of acrylic layers. So I'm thinking I am good to go. But if someone knows different, I would love to know. I haven't had any trouble yet with my paintings. I'm going to turn that back. Sorry, guys. We'll just have to wait 100 years and check on them. Well, that's the other <laughs> thing, too, is it's plastic, you know? Yeah. So I'm assuming that what's going to go first is the canvas, which is why I like acid-free cotton canvas and acid-free gesso, because that's going to be the, in the wood frame. Mm -hmm. They're kiln-dried wood frames, which I really like in this line. Uh, they're level two and level threes. Um, so that's what's going to go first, way before the paint. Look, I don't know if they can, if I do that, um, let's see. Can you see that, how transparent those petals yeah, are? Yeah, you can tell. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And then you can always add more. And oh, I yeah. want to add more because I can get more, um, and I'm trying to stick this petal up onto the, the center, but you can't see it. But so that's what I did with these. Like I didn't, that was like one stroke was probably some matte medium. Maybe not because yellow is really transparent. But then right here is probably two or three strokes to get the light. 
And then that's just straight up white. But that's how I did these. You know, one stroke, or maybe two strokes, depending on how transparent. I don't know if I'm talking too much and teaching too much. And... Um, well, you can teach a little more because um, <laughs> Bonita asked, uh, what do you all recommend for placement of the canvas while painting? Should I have it on an easel or is it okay to have it flat on a turntable? Oh gosh, a turntable sounds like an awesome idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you don't have to pick it up. While it's I wet. had not thought of that. I do everything based on what I'm videoing and none of it's all that great for my back or me <laughs> because I don't want to, I, I get lazy and I don't want to move like this. I can't move up and down, you know? I don't think there's a should. I think what's comfortable for you is the answer. I was always horrible about painting on an easel. I I always painted like on a table. Like I would even stand and like hover over it, which is again probably horrible for your back, but I I don't know. I never I, I never paint. I rarely ever paint it on an easel. Even given the option, I would like lay it on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, me too. But you know what? I just had a thought, Em. So if you have it straight in front of you, eye level and square, which I know this isn't square, and you're working on, say, a barn that's in perspective, you're less likely to go off course. Because, mm -hmm. like, I'm looking, I'm standing to the right of this, and it's kind of turned to the left. <laughs> and then I'm painting from the side, which, you know. So if I were painting, trying to do freehand, you know, perspective drawing, you can still use a ruler and have your points and you can be fine because I've done it all the time. But it also, you might not notice when you're off mm -hmm. if it's not square to you. That might actually help Bonita a little bit. I don't know if it's also just, I hate to say it, but most of art's a personal preference, what you like. But um, I don't, you know, if you don't like painting in an easel, don't. Just paintings get so big, so I need yeah. one, you know. Yeah, I, I guess there's the instance of like where I would move to one because it's so big. Yeah, you would. You just kind of have to, I guess. You get tired of flipping it around the table. Mm -hmm. And well, in this case, my art table isn't nearly big enough. So I put a little white while we were chanting right there just to try and attach that petal to the center. I'm just trying to mix it up. And I've got a little happy accent I probably should just leave. There, I like that a little better. So now I've got a little dip in the petal. I like that. Watch, I watch other painters. You know, it's not like I'm a super expert on everything. There's always, you can always get better and you can always learn. Okay, I think I wanna, I'm liking those centers, they're like bullseyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're like, look at me and look at me now. I was thinking donuts, but <gasps> they are donuts. They look like donuts. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> They're probably going, oh my gosh, she likes them all. Mm. And I'm going to push. And I'm going to lift up. Isn't that fun? Fun, fun. See, when I'm happy, I sing <laughs> on live stream, and I didn't intend to do that. That's pretty. I actually meant to paint that petal that flower first and I forgot. I can still see some of my lines, but I'm not gonna mess with them now. I'll wait, try and wash them off or erase them off in a couple days. I don't know if they can see that. Try to get it close to the camera. Did I get it? Um. Yes, you did. Yep. Yay! It's, it's so a little nice. bit in the top, but you, it was still all the way in, so. It was pretty good. So I, I kind of just look at my phone and just kind of, you know, kind of aim. Yay for matte medium. You can, oh, if you don't have matte medium, you could use a little water. Water I'd be more, much more careful with mm -hmm. because I think you can break down the acrylic paint eventually. Well, of course you can because that's how you wash your brushes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've used water. It's not like I'm a... I just kind of like... I don't feel like going to grab that bottle, so then I use some water. But with Emily here helping me, which is awesome. <laughs> I can fetch it for she you. She can fetch Let's see, Suzanne says, I love to watch you paint. I learn something new with every video. Thank you for your explanations. It oh, really helps. Is that so Su you Suzanne? Aren't teaching us. Oh, good. Sorry, I didn't mean to no. jump in so quick. Is that Susan Suzanne B? Mm-hmm. Oh, hello. I wish I could I like I can't sort of see you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for commenting. 
Well, I feel like I repeat myself because I'm like, oh, I don't know if someone's seen the video. I'm going to push. You're just a repeater in general, though. Yeah, I am. And then, <laughs> that didn't work so well, so now I'm fixing it, just so you know. I think all the mistakes I make are good. Um, not like the happy accident Bob Ross kind of thing, but like, people can see, oh, how'd she fix it or why she, what'd she do? And, and then they can take things that they like and they can take things they don't like that I do. You know, I think I'm just going to leave that one flat. And then I don't, I always say I'm going to leave it and then I never do. But I thought they might like to see petals and centers. Mm-hmm. We're probably going to quit soon. What time is it? 12.50. Okay, I'm going to um, I'll go back. Dry petals. <laughs> that might have been super annoying. Sorry, I forget how close the camera is. Actually, it refocused. It, it focused on your hand, and then it refocused pretty fast. That was pretty nice. You know, so. cell phones are the coolest thing. They just do amazing things. Okay, I want to attach that one up. I'm gonna grab a little, grab a little my, I love magenta, such a yummy color. The quinacridone. Quinacridone magenta, <laughs> quinacridone. I had to practice saying indenthrine. Indenthrine. <laughs> yeah, I mean I know like it's probably some scientist who created the color, named the color, but geez. It's, we could have, we could have renamed it so many better things that are you know, I have to Google how to spell quinacridone every every time. If I think there was one time where um, you must have said some other color, and I had to like put a little like cliff notes in the video, like this is actually quinacridone, and I had to Google how <laughs> to spell quinacridone. It's so ugh, it's, that's such an obscure name. It is. It is. It is. Not all companies. I think. The ones that think they're the big players use those. Yeah, the act, the true name. The Raw Sienna. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, there's other companies that are more, a little bit nicer. <laughs> you know, Ocean Blue, thank you. That's probably going to be a blue green, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, and then Thalo Green. I don't know if I've been able to find it in uh, the heavy body, but phthalo green here is a really blue green, and I don't know if it is in other lines. Um, I've mentioned this before, but I use Liquitex because I can stand them, just stand them on a shelf to store them. It's one of the big reasons, and I can get the caps off. The caps are bigger here. Let's see if I can find one. That's a decent sized cap. <laughs> That's not so much an art tip as a, you know, my hands aren't very strong tip. I'm going to stick that one up here, too. I always make it darker. All right, I want to paint more, but I've got like a a wet spot here. Or it puddled, which is actually kind of nice, but then it's see if I can dry it out a little bit and not ruin it. <laughs> Let's get some layers here. Um, my light's coming from this way, so I do say that to myself a lot. Or if I, you know, I'm painting on my art table, I'll even like stick an arrow. You know, don't forget Anne. Because you can get into whatever you're doing here and totally forget. Let's do a little orange. I don't know. Let's do a little pink. Oh, yeah. Of course, I got red. I want to do that in a little, a little matte medium. So I like to sneak up on things. I, I picked up that term lately. So I'm sneaking up on the values. I really went there for the live on the centers. But I can still knock them back. And, and then, so let's say this one's going to catch the light. And actually, we'll probably do this a couple times. You know? Here, let's do a light pink one. I have some orange in my brush, but let's grab, grab some white. Oh, and if you're a really... I don't know what adjective to use, but like an artist will like line up their paints along one edge and then they always pull from the same side. So then you can always kind of get in there. Even if it skins over, you can get in there and get your paint. Or then there's somebody like me who I make lots of puddles 
And like, I, you know, it's kind of like easels. It, whatever you're used to, comfortable with. All right, I'm grabbing a little more matte medium. Oh, my stomach just growled. I so hope that wasn't on. I heard it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but I doubt the mic caught it. I'm human. My stomach growled on live stream. Oh, I kind of like that. And then we want to put one here. And then should we have this? See, now I'm starting to have fun. Should we have that catch some light? So are they all going to be this pinky color? Or? Yeah, they're kind of. Where's my. I threw my other reference photo oh, down. Oh, I, I literally. It's literally. Oh, what's nice is it's literally in the background. I can see it in the background of the live. Oh, good. I had yeah. it there hoping we would aim, and then I forgot about it while we were adjusting. Yeah, I completely forgot but about it. But I don't the... know how. I mean, okay, so that's a photograph that, that I then put in my computer and then print it out. Yeah. But um, I forgot what they call them. I think they call them purple or lavender, no, purple coneflowers, but they're actually quite pink. Um, and then I'm exaggerating the pink. That's really cool, but here I'm already starting to warm up. And then you can see this is starting to dry darker, but that's okay. We can always just put another... Purple coneflowers. Purple coneflowers. Mm -hmm. I'm learning flowers. When you paint things, like when I paint dogs, I learn dog breeds. Graham helped, too. <laughs> With the flowers. Oh, yeah. Knowing just flowers. I didn't know about Queen Anne's Lace until I just wondered what the flowers were by your apartment. I still don't know how you Googled to figure out what they were. Because, like, I didn't even know those were there. So we just I saw them, I like, think I put, like, back. white ditch flowers or white... white ditch flowers. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I got there. And then I know some artists were painting them. Mm, yeah. Um, so then I started painting them. All right, what am I going to do here? I have a hard time walking a dog in here. I'm going to put some straight-up orange. When I Google um, these cone flowers, I see a lot of bees on the flowers. There's one. I have one bee. Oh, you have a bee? Oh. Yeah, right there. Oh, I see him. You can I barely see, him. see it. He's yeah. in the traceable. In the traceable, he's looking down at this one. Mm -hmm. But when I, I just sketched this, I didn't use my traceable. I, uh, I could change him. Actually, I could change him. I just change his wing angle. <laughs> There's a lot of butterflies, too, but I'm not. You can stick with the bees. We don't need the butterflies. <laughs> I hope that one. Okay, am I kidding? I hope that one is getting pretty and you guys can see it. And it's layer. Mm -hmm. It's just it's layers. It's values. Yeah, it's, it's okay if. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. No, you good. No, it's just it's pretty. Oh, good. Um, okay, let's do a little darker right here. This one's we're getting close to the end. So I could put some purple on my plate, on my the palette. Um, some green would mute that down and make it darker. I think I'm just gonna take a smidge of black because that's what I have handy. Oops. <laughs> I'm scared of the black. Oh, yeah, that worked. Okay. So I'm thinking that's underneath that petal. And I'm just going to do, I didn't do the whole petal. Grab them. Oh, I don't know if that's off camera. Sorry, guys. A little black. This is probably one of the best angles for is it? watching you mix your paint. Oh, is it? Because I, I remember to hold it up. Sometimes I forget, or sometimes oh, that's fine. Even when you have it like kind of slouchied, uh, when you're mixing like the pinks and the orangey colors, you can see it still. Oh, like this is slouchy. Yeah, I can still. See, <laughs> yep, that I, that slouchy I can see cool. still. So that could be done. Should we move on? She types, I always want to know what she's doing. Chase said that I was doing a nice job being a mod. Aw. I think Chase likes you. Yeah. Cool. I hope so. I said that for I said that for a reaction. Also assuming Chase is home going, ah. So I'm just adding some lighter pinks, but I don't know if it's gonna be light enough. But that's what I mean by sneaking up on the colors and the values and stuff. I don't know if you've noticed, but this is drawing darker. That white is like a bullseye. It's bugging me right now, but we'll just leave it and see how we do the rest of them. So I like that. I like having these bullseyes, literally bullseyes, you know, targets. Um, sort of already it controls your eye movement. 
Bonita says she has around 60 hummingbirds in um, at her feeders, and they love her cone flowers. Oh. They eat the insects and hang out in the centers. That would be cute, like a hummingbird Ooh. on a full, on a cone flower painting. That is cool. My watch just went off. Oh, yeah, we are at 12.59. We have 10 people watching. How cool to have hummingbirds. I've only seen a couple since we've moved in here, and we've been here 20 years. Something, a random... I think it's it's the same person, but on TikTok, in, on my um, homepage where it just gives you random videos that it suggests you may like, they, um, <laughs> Suzanne said that I'm doing an awesome job as well. Thank you, Suzanne. Um, that uh, so nice. there's a guy that has slowly like trained hummingbirds to like, you know, he would, he would stand near the feeder that he had and then he would hold like a nectar feeder and then it got to the point where he made this flower mask and then he has a feeder thing that like comes out of his mouth and the birds will like come right in front of his face and like feed from the little like nectar pod things. Wow. Yeah. I never, I should have liked his video so I could find it again, but it was, I was like, dang, that's, but they, and then so he gets the video of them like how fast their wings go really close and. Wow. Mm-hmm. You'll have to show me <laughs> when we're not. Not on live. You know what I could do too, instead of mixing black, let's just try a little straight up. Um, I'm doing the matte medium so I, I go slower. You don't have to, but I feel safer, you know, if you're hesitant. Let's see what another layer would do. Oh yeah, totally. I don't know if that's showing up on video, but it totally darkens it up. Let's try a little straight up. I'm gonna offload my brush a little bit. What's great about Emily is I can talk about her and she can track both typing and me talking to her where I, I would not be a good moderator. I cannot do that. And I did make her, excuse me, I did make her pause. <laughs> Messing with her. Let's see, let's make this one darker. So if you want a little slower darker, just put in a just straight up layer of quinacridone. It is fairly transparent. I was just nervous. Some artists use just a limited color palette all the time because then they really get to know those colors. I have an addiction to buying paint, so I don't know all my colors, even though I buy the same brand. Let's see, a little, just a pinch of black. <laughs> Chase says, I always multitask when I talk to her as well. <laughs> uh. It's so nice of him to be here. But uh, Suzanne did all oh, in her compliment to me. She also asked if I painted. So I said that I used to more in school and probably more when I lived here when I could just leave the mess elsewhere. Oh yeah, leave it in my old studio, yeah. which was even smaller. Yeah, yeah, because this was your bedroom. Yeah, I could spread out and not leave it in my bedroom, or oh, I yeah. could venture to both rooms. But I've, I don't really uh, living in an apartment. It shrunk where I could, or at least oh. then the mess is all my responsibility. And I, and I like right next to it. So I that just stinks. <laughs> I hated so, that. Yeah. So I, I mostly do digital on an iPad pro with, um, procreate and then you can create your own brushes. They have a good basic set of brushes to use, but, um, there's people that make brushes that mimic painting really well, or like brush strokes and things like that. And or you can make your own as well. So I found that that's pretty fun. And then it's... And it works in an apartment. It works in an apartment. I can sit on the sofa and, like, watch Netflix, but also still be oh yeah, drawing I, or whatever, but... I have, I'll have music or something going. Mm -hmm. or, you know, my jo I would listen to West Wing because it's a really long series that I could I didn't need to watch. I've seen it a couple times, you know, just have it running in the background. I think I might quit here. Well, and then when you were making that mess, to be fair, I was a full-time graphic design designer working from home. I had my own business. Mm -hmm. um, so I had very few art projects going, so and it, it was okay that there was stuff all over there. Oh, yeah. But I misread Chase's comment. He said that I oh. do that. I multitask. Oh, I liked it better the other way. Why did I know. <laughs> it sounded, it sounds 
Not it sounds worse on my end because I do. I do often multitask when. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty fun to throw Chase into yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kiddo. What do you think? I, what I was thinking, like I've done a couple flowers. If I start another one, I don't know how long it'll take me. And then I just I just painted out stuff I didn't like. I liked there. All right, so I just had a teaching moment here. So I'm gonna grab some of the quinacridone. So my brush is dirty too. Um, sometimes that's good because you know the whole, there. Then you get the whole Bob Ross happy accident. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that shape back in. I don't know. Did that matter? I don't know. It made a difference. It gave a little more depth to that one petal. Yeah. Kind of makes them bend a little bit mm -hmm. more. So now I'm thinking bending. Oh, I don't know if I like that. It's kind of bright. Grab some orange. Oh, my, my brush handle is wet. So I wear an apron because I'll drop a brush when I'm sitting at my easel, and I use it as a as a towel and I wipe my hands on it. Okay, I am. Um, I think I'm gonna oh, quit here. Do we want to do like we did last time and I say goodbye, or I just say goodbye with it zoomed in like this? Maybe I'll have to. If I scoot you back, I'll probably have to raise it for them to see okay as well. we'll just leave yeah. it like this you can do like just how you do in the oh, videos from the overhead yeah we, we forgot our youtube music <laughs> yeah. oh yeah emily set up a playlist with youtube music so it's copyright cool is that a good way to say copyright it? cool Coop yeah copyright it's cool, cool with the copyright yeah uh, we'll play it next time hopefully remember thank you thank you guys for hanging out with me i really really appreciate it i just your support means so much to us and we we get hopeful that this is going to work you know that this is going to work out and we can do this for a living don't we think that <laughs> that would be fun That'd that be would be fun super fun hang out with everybody okay great big happy art hugs and i hope to